everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Daphne and we have a very special guest. His name is Yoda. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? No? No? Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Daphne and I make videos on DIYs and home decor. And today's video is another IKEA hack project, this time with the Ingo dining table. Actually, no, it's not an IKEA hack, it's an IKEA makeover upgrade. Basically, the idea is to give it some new life, so I will be painting the legs and I will be staining the top. This is a very easy and very simple project anyone can do at home, whether that's to renew the table itself or to just freshen up your space. Weirdly enough, I couldn't find it anywhere on the Cypriot or Greek website to link it in the description box, so my first thought was that it's discontinued, but I did end up finding it on the US IKEA website, so it's still sold by IKEA, but I guess it's out of stock here in Cyprus. Anyway, I got the stable from a friend of mine who didn't need it any longer and wanted to get rid of it. And honestly, the timing couldn't have been better because Alex just rented a new space for his new store and him and his partner need a desk, so I will be gifting it to them. I was told they're going for an industrial style, so I will make it farmhouse. Either way, I think they will like it a lot because the colors will match the other desk they already have over there. I'm starting to rumble, let's get started. Okay guys, this is the desk. As you guys can see, it's in a very, very good condition. The only thing is that it's got a lot of discoloration, but that's not a problem at all because I will be restaining the top, which means I will need to remove the existing stain, which means all the discoloration will go away as well as the few scratches that it's got because these are on the surface so the they will go away by sanding it and I'm very happy to say that I don't need to add any wood filler because it's in excellent condition. Alright so my first step is to disassemble the table. I think it will be much easier to work on it when disassembled otherwise I won't be able to sand or paint this area of the leg that is hidden under the surface of the table. So let's go ahead and disassemble it. to start sanding. I will sand the main surface of the table with an 80 grit sandpaper because I will be restaining that so I need to make sure that the existing stain is 100% removed and I will uh, sand the legs and the sides of the table with a 120 grit sandpaper because I will be painting that black and I only need to prepare the surface for painting so Let's move everything outside and start sanding. surface of the table. I just wanted to quickly show you the before and after. 
So this is the before, you guys saw it earlier, and this is the after. This is the original pine wood color. This is your goal before staining. This is where you wanna bring it down to before you start staining. You wanna bring it down to its original color, which is it. So I'm gonna continue sanding. Yeah, I'm gonna continue sanding. Officially ready for primer and I will be using the Luxens undercoat primer for wood in white color but before I start priming I will tape this area right here to make sure that paint doesn't get there and then yeah that's basically it I will prime these pieces of wood and also the legs as well so let's start Alright everyone, it's officially the day after. I'm ready to start painting, but before I start painting, I need to lightly buff the undercoat with a 220 grit sandpaper. And then I will be going in with the Sherwin-Williams um, Tricorn Black in Satin Finish. It's the blackest of blacks, apparently. I've never used this color before. I'm very excited. And I will be applying that with a foam roller, just like I did for the undercoat as well as a brush for the corners and this area here that the foam roller can get to. Let's get started. Now that everything is drying, if you don't want to wash your foam roller, just wrap it inside a cling film and put it in the fridge. Okay, now that my first coat is completely dry, I'm ready for my second coat, but before I apply that, I will be sanding the surface again with a 220 grit sandpaper, and then I will be applying my second layer. Let's go! Okay, second coat is fully dry. I am now ready for my third and final layer. But before I do that, you know the drill. Sandpaper, 220 grit. Let's do this. Alright, guys. 
guys, I am now officially ready for staining. And honestly, if I were to keep this table, I would not stain it. I would leave it as is. I think the contrast between the black and the light wood is so pretty, but I will not be keeping it. And the customer asked for a dark stain. So I will be using a walnut stain by Craft Paints. I'm pretty sure that Craft Paints is a Greek brand. And I will be using a brush to apply it. Let's go. desk is ready and set up. Let's do our reveal in three, two, one. That, you guys, was my take on the IKEA Ingo table. I'm a little bit sad I won't get to keep it because I actually really like it. But hopefully my very special clients like it as much as I do. And hopefully you guys like it too. If you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I'm not sure how industrial you'd call it. It doesn't scream industrial. It's definitely not the first thing that comes to mind. But I think it turned out very pretty. And it also matches their other desk, as I previously mentioned. So all in all, it took me two days to finish this project and it cost me a total of 17 euros which was for the paint as I already had all the other materials so let me know what you guys think about this makeover in the comment section down below yay or nay and last but not least don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home decor and DIY content and also click on that notification bell to get notified whenever a new video comes out thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye